so welcome to this video tutorial once again today we're going to see uh, the basic concepts in location shape and the size of ethiopia and the whole horn of africa is the area that is found the northern indian ocean separating it from gulf of Aden and the south of the red sea horn of africa includes four countries including of ethiopia eritrea djibouti and somalia so these four countries have so many common features with respect to language with respect to culture with respect to their identity have uh, somewhat similar with respect to again even the landscape their share is uh, similar why for even this module focus on these uh, four countries that is uh, geography of ethiopia and the whole from horn of africa ethiopia is the largest country and again Djibouti is the smallest so these countries shares a different desert areas just like Ogaden and again coastal areas just like uh, Eritrea and in the Somali coastal areas so this is the location of Horn of Africa Horn of Africa stretches from a uh, southern tip of Somali from uh, one degree south up to 18 degree north uh, the tip points of uh, Eritrea and from the west 33 degree east from around Barakovo up to the east around 51.24 minutes is that is that is the locations of Horn of uh, Africa and the other is the location of Ethiopia Ethiopia is uh, the only country that is landlocked country that is found in the Horn of Africa. The astronomical or mathematical locations of Ethiopia is stretched from a latitude of 3 degree north up to 15 degree north that is the southern tipest stretch from Moyale up to Badime around the tipest of uh, the north tip of Tigray and again from the western points of around Barakobo up to the eastern of Ogadens, so so the east-west distance of the country is uh, longer than the north-south that is around 15 uh, degree the latitudinal and the longitudinal location of the country are important in two ways one as a result of uh, latitudinal extension that is from 3 degree up to 15 degree Ethiopia experiences tropical kinds of uh, climate but in central parts of Ethiopia, this kind of climate cannot have full coverage because of it is highly modified by uh, altitude. Secondly, due to the longitudinal extension, there are one hour difference the most easterly point around Ogaden and the most westerly point around uh, Baro Akobo. Only for the matters of convenience, we are using MT plus 3. Why for GMT plus 3 is used specifically the meridian line that cross Ethiopia is around 45 degree. Since we have 24 hours when 316 degree divided by 15 we get 24 hours that is 1 hour is equivalent with 15 degree. So, the west is the distance of the countries around 15 degree that is implication for the difference between one hour the most easterly and the westerly point is there for only the matter of convenience we use gmt plus 3 gmt is come from because of ethiopia crossed by 45 degree of meridian when that 45 degree divided by 15 we get 3 that is GMT plus 3 is the times okay the other is the relative location relative location expresses the location of a country or a place within a reference to the location of a country or land masses or water bodies and other features the relative location of Ethiopia as provided in the table just sudan to the west and the northwest is there south sudan to southwest Djibouti to the east somali to the east 
and the south east Eritrea to the north and the north east Kenya to the south east that is the physical or relative location with respect to countries the other relation to uh, water bodies uh, Ethiopia is found in the Horn of Africa in the southwest of Arabian uh, Peninsula in the south of Europe in the northwest of Indian Ocean and uh, partially the plate is found in the Blue Nile uh, River Benzin so relative location can have implications for example implication on climate as a result of relative and absolute locations Ethiopia able to exercise the tropical kinds of climate as I've said so far which is modified by altitude so the rainfall we are uh, presently getting uh, from that is cuterial westerlies and south easterlies and uh, the dry air in around January that dominates the country is because of what the location that is relative location of the countries implication on socio-cultural is there Ethiopia is one of the earliest recipients of Christianity Islam and the Judaism this is because of approach we having towards of uh, Middle East the countries and again different linguistic in the relationships Ethiopia can have with neighborhood is the impacts of that is locations with political aspect the relative location of Ethiopia can influence the political conditions of the countries for example uh, the geopolitical considerations of uh, superpower because Ethiopia is the best area from Horn of Africa in order to manipulate the Horn and the Eastern Africa why for the considerations of superpower is there's uh, the Middle East geopolitical paradigm is there's that is specifically based on the natural resource and the other is this uh, the implications of what location on political social cultural and uh, climatic aspect the other uh, size of Ethiopia is there's Ethiopia can have around 1,106,000 km square that makes the is country of Africa and again 25th largest country of the world and again around 0.7% of the countries are covered by a uh, water so this the size of Ethiopia affects both the natural and human environments of uh, the countries so this having of a very large area can have advantages and disadvantages for example advantages of having of this large areas one possessing of diverse agroecological zones there are five traditional agroecological zones that is Kola, Baraha, Daga, Wena, Daga and the Wurj all are found in Ethiopia this is an advantage because of different kinds of natural vegetation wildlife and the soil resources of Ethiopia generally related within agroecological zones even the rainfall and other aspects of uh, uh, geographical phenomena here are just diverse with respect to agroecological zones variety of natural resources we have because of we have a very large areas around especially central parts of Ethiopia a very extensive arable land if there's and that support mechanized kinds of agricultures having a very large population is again advantage having a very large area result large population size which is specifically advantage in order to grow and uh, for technological innovations home of uh, again a diverse cultures why for diverse culture become the tourist destination areas that is indirectly it is just a capital for the countries and again uh, also greater depths in external invasion is there having a very large size also having of disadvantages like demands for a great capital in order to construct 
uh, infrastructures just like hospitals, schools, roads and other may need a very huge capital when the area of the country become very large. It requires large army to protect the territories. And again, it is difficult for effective administration even. And again, uh, difficult for socio-economic integration with respect to to introduce one's culture towards of other, one's economic activity towards of others. It is very, very dangerous. That must be understood in this way. Thank you.